Hi, welcome. My name is Gabriel Stockton, and this recording is actually being made because uh, typically I would be doing a Facebook Live for Watercolor Wednesday. That typically happens over on Facebook at 10 a.m. Uh, that's uh, Pacific time and um, on Wednesdays and so yeah this is a little different setup normally I'm out and about somewhere in San Diego and so well uh, here I have my watercolor paper uh, Artistico uh, Fabiano um, it is a 300 pound paper and it is called soft press it's somewhere in between uh, cold and warm so it's got a little bit of tooth to it over here you'll see my palette in which I'll be playing and then just uh, right there uh, over there is my photo reference this is uh, a picture over in La Jolla and so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started right now just gonna hop right into this I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I've had uh, just a wonderful week of great things happening. Um, I just got back. I have another photo reference. I had to grab it real quick. Um, so uh, we're just going to start with a nice little horizon. Uh, we got a sky, and then we got water, and then um, I'm just going to get right in here and come right down and bring in this nice little rock area. So this painting was asked um, by a client for, uh, she liked water, and so she was wondering if I would just do like a little water scene and so I really enjoyed kind of like how this piece kind of came along so right now you can see here uh, we've got um, our horizon line right there and we've got uh, some nice water wave kind of coming in here and then we'll bring in some waves right there and then we're gonna have this cool like rock kind of shape here like so and we're gonna just go right here like that and this comes up in here this comes down we got this nice little piece right here this kind of comes a little more rounded. Now I don't have to make this completely like spot on because the the piece, the person that asked for this, uh, she's not wanting a specific place. She's just wanting rocks with water. And well, we're going to go with this. And so we got this nice nice shape here we got this nice line our eye reads in here this comes down we're gonna have this water bringing here washing up and coming down we're gonna hop right into it I'm gonna grab uh, my mop brush here and I'm gonna just get in there and get some water and I'm gonna just start with my sky so right here you can see I'm just going to town uh, and we're going to make this nice sky color. Uh, there's lots of blue in here. So I'm just going to put that blue right in there. I'm going to make it a little more. I'm going to add a little ultramarine blue to my mixture up there at the top. Now I'm going to add just just more water a little bit of pigment more water and I'm gonna just grab that and bring it right right down pulling it nice 
There we go. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep that sky just nice and simple. Um, I'm going to go just a titch darker. But I'm not really going dark. I'm just going to go more paint. Okay. But we will grab a, a little bit of cobalt in there. And um, I'm going to leave a nice little thing of white. Uh, at that, just a nice little strip of white, um, along that edge. Alright, I'm going to add just a little more water. And, uh, I'm really enjoying laying this brush down. Watch how I do my strokes. Alright, I'm going to go just a titch darker. Alright, well... Now in that reference photo, we really don't see a wave much, so we're going to get really uber um, creative here, okay? I'm going to go just a titch darker, more pigment, alright, so I'm going to get up in here, like so, this is going to be the top of my wave like that and we're gonna get in here there we go so I'm gonna leave a little bit of white right there now I just want to get in there with just some water and I'm just gonna grab those nice little spots there we go I'm gonna start moving that direction the way I want my wave to move. There we go. Like that. I'm going to leave some nice little whites in there. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of white in there. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this right around. Uh, I love how that water just goes right up onto the beach. It's just gorgeous. So that's our water going up on the beach. Alright. I am I am feeling very comfortable with where that all is. Uh, there's one thing I'd like to do. Is I'm going to go ahead and just pull that water out of there. And this right here. Alright. So I'm going to let that set up and do its thing. Okay. Let's get on this uh, wonderful rock. So I just grabbed, I don't know if that's raw sienna or a little yellow ochre. Uh, I'll be honest, like, uh, I'm running low on some paint. It's time to... Uh, re-up and order some more paint and so that'll tend to happen so you gotta keep stock there we go so I'm going with uh, my lightest color and I want to leave a couple little whites in there nice little reflections I don't know if there's like some cool, like, uh, you know, um, shells or something. I'm gonna go nice and fast right in there. Alright, I'm really digging this. It's just nice, confident strokes. I'm gonna go a little bit bigger brush. I'm also using uh, my Escoda Perla. Sorry, I've used this so many times now that there are no <laughs> uh, letters on it. So I got some Sedona and then I'm putting some Ultramarine because that, that area of the rock is like uber like on the shadow side, right? So... I'm going to drop this in there. I 
don't want to lose that nice white. Okay. I think it needs to go just a little touch darker. What do you think? So let's get up in there a little cooler. I'm allowing the wonderful thing of watercolor to do, which is using gravity. Okay. And then our rock has that nice top spot and I change the shape just a little bit I never really like painting you know the same thing over each time uh, I look at things and I know uh, I think I did just, I did just tell myself didn't I yeah I've painted this before and I felt uh, inspired to paint it again today for you guys. So some of you are watching this on YouTube, some of you are watching this on Facebook. Thank you for wherever you are uh, joining me. So now we're going to get into this sand and um, what we're doing is we are just doing some wet on wet here, okay? Some of you are learning some art terms and really excited to learn some art terms and uh, wet on wet is a really popular term right now and really what it is is I'm allowing my paint to just mix on the paper, okay? Don't be too set, like, on your actual uh, picture, because, uh, well, you gotta leave some room for just something amazing to happen uh, with your watercolor painting. And so, if you look at where I'm mixing, I am putting in some color and really not worried about color per se just getting and I'm not mixing like everything is not completely mixed solid like how you might mix like acrylics uh, one of you uh, reached out to me this week about going from acrylic painting to watercolor and I think that's wonderful and uh, definitely uh, can help you transition. All right, so we got some different things going on here, and there's different uh, shadows casting, and we're just gonna put that right in there. Look how nice that is looking already. There's not much more I need to do to this painting to make it successful, right? Um, so I think what we can do is add some directional lines in our water. So I just need to go a little bit darker value. Alright, not color. Don't think color, think value. So let's drop in. Already see that did some cool stuff in there. So let's just work with it. Let's, let's just get in here and work with it. Yeah! Isn't that just gorgeous? And we're gonna bring this up in here. I don't want those two to connect because I want to leave that nice white. Let's go ahead and shoot this up in here like that. I'm moving in the direction of the actual wave. If you sit there and watch the gorgeous waves, you can see uh, how the water runs up and comes down. And then, you know, it's just, that's what we get to do. We, sometimes we kind of just like run out there and um, we want to just get out our paints and everything and and just paint well sometimes we get to 
pick a subject, stick with it for a little bit, and voila. Uh, get to know your subject and master it, right? And it's a, you're not going to master it your first time out. You're just, you're just not. I'm going to be real with you. Unless you're highly gifted and you are just a freak of nature. Um, but I have seen some amazing people like go out and produce something just like uh, that first time but you gotta go back out a couple more times and paint again like because sometimes you will get that one horse pony or trick pony or whatever you call it uh, fancy, f funny, backward term, but, like, <laughs> the real thing is, is, like, you do want to be able to paint it well, um, so if you ever get an opportunity, like I'm doing, to, you know, demo it, then you actually, you know, like, oh, hey, I, I can paint this. So let's, let's put some of this turquoise kind of, like, in some little areas of our rock here. I think that will uh, make the rock look kind of a little more wet. So the photo is already flat. That's the tricky thing about photos. Photos are already like flat and well that is not helping you as an artist because right now this is not flat at all and it's it's looking quite fun right wouldn't you agree so here we go we are adding some cooler areas and I'm looking back at the camera uh, or at the screen here and I'm liking it um, we are looking at, at a reversed and I think that's that's pretty cool. All right, I want a couple more, not huge darks, but just something that says uh like wave. Yeah, this rock is not gonna move. But the wave is coming at it like fierce, right? And so that's kind of like my story. Like when I talked with this lady that uh, commissioned me to do a painting, we talked about the cool like uh, properties of water and just we had this really fun conversation that I normally don't just have with just like any person. And that's, that's just unique in itself, right? Not all the time are we communicating unless you want to. Like, you can have some beautiful moments with people and, and talk about art. So let's just drop this right in. I think like some little rock or something up here. And we're just about done because... What's nice is, even if you're doing like little rooftops, if you have a little something on top of that roof, it's going to make it just a little more like dynamic. Alright? And yes, I will get in there with a fingernail. I'll get in there with... Uh... Notice how I'm holding my brush too. I didn't, I'm not holding up. I'm not choking up on it. I'm like back here and just stay nice and loose. I'm feeling really uh, happy with this piece. Uh, this was a quick one today, but uh, you know, I wanted to just keep your attention. I know some of you might be a little bummed I'm not here live with you, and I apologize. Uh, but I've got to celebrate my marriage, right? And, uh, but I'm leaving you with something, and I hope this, uh, inspires you to get out there and go do some painting. 
and sometimes there's these little things here that leave a little something and yep it's time to buy that color again oh my goodness I'm gonna just do a little tap right here there we go we got some nice little texture look at that pretty cool right and I don't need that there so I don't need this here or that one look how easy that is just pulling those up and do we need birds or anything in here I don't think so alright so I'm done thank you for joining me my name is Gabriel Stockton um, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel please subscribe I'm doing these uh, quite often now and if you would like to see daily content of stuff that I'm out and about um, and you like the tape reveal part of the segment I do those almost every day on Instagram and so it is pretty cool to see this um, tape but come off so here's our painting I'm really uh, liking it it's a good time um, I want to show you you know sometimes it takes a couple of rounds so just to be completely transparent with you um, here's one I did also it's on some different paper this is a uh, Fabriano rough Fabriano artistic rough this is the 140 and so see a uh, very similar composition and I'm really enjoying this one obviously it's a lot uh, different in size someone might really enjoy this one and someone might love this one and just to get a little closer look at some of that granulation that's going on there and how wonderful is that alright thank you for joining me have a wonderful day stay safe and get out there and go do some painting take care see ya